Witness to Transformation is an effort to use refugee interviews in order to gain insight into what's going on in North Korea. One of the things we're interested in is the prospects for political change in the country, whether there could be an opening or even a collapse of the regime. If we look at the top of the system, it looks like the succession seems to be going pretty smoothly. The military has rallied around the third son, and the institutions of the party and the government have been revived. But one of the purposes of our book is to look at what's going on beneath the surface in the lives of average citizens. And there we see a little bit more troubled picture we don't have institutions of civil society that will permit rebellion from below or the type of resistance that we've seen in Egypt. But if we look at the, what citizens do on an everyday basis, we see that they're resisting the regime in a lot of subtle and everyday ways. They're operating in the market in particular. They're engaged in a purchase of foreign products. They're listening to DVDs. They're listening to foreign broadcasts. And what we think the path of political change will be is as follows, that it will become more difficult for the authoritarian leadership to, to uh, avoid these kinds of developments, to put them in the bottle. Rather, the regime will have to accommodate itself to the fact that the market has taken root and that its citizens have a wider view of what's going on in the world than they have in the past. This is likely to force some accommodation, even if the regime itself doesn't change.